Welcome back everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today we're in the dirt street stocks here at Bristol. Ran a decent time in practice. I honestly ran that pretty late in practice because I was battling with people like the first like four or five laps of it. And then uh so I didn't really get like the very clean track time that some of them might have up front might have gotten. I don't know when people got their times to be honest, but hopefully we can run pretty well here. It's gonna be tough passing most likely. The bottom's gonna get worn out, but honestly you could probably stick down there most of the race anyways. Trying to get a run in up here as much as we can. I'm gonna run like not all the way down at the bottom, but mostly bottom. And one and two, three and four, I kind of keep it a little straight and try to catch that grip on the exit. It just works a little bit better on exit here because it's a little lower than one and two is. See what we can do the second lap. 386. There we go. That was a solid lap. Hopefully we can have an okay lap here. We didn't have the run in for this lap, so we're not, it's not going to be any quicker. But I'd like to see what kind of time it will be. But so far we're second. Ran a 391 in the second lap. So honestly, that was pretty uh, consistent overall. And without getting that run in for the second lap, I'm happy about that. So, so far we're second. That's pretty solid. Hopefully we could stick there and we'll be pull for heat number two. And uh, for the, what's it called? The feature will be on the outside, hopefully, uh, pull. But that's funny. It said the street stock open setups. Oh, wait, that hits his uh, league or something. I thought he was like promoting a street stock setups, but this is fixed. So I thought that would have been funny. But still have a few people left to qualify. So I'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green in the heat races. All right, well, Cade got up there and got the pole, so we fell down the third. We'll be starting second here in heat number one. We got Justin, uh, who's a viewer, starting fourth in our heat. We'll see if he can gain some spots. He'll be starting right behind us. Got a lime or neon kind of car, like lime yellowish. Interesting colors. But let's get going in this heat race, waiting on people to join up. I wanted to be on the outside for the feature, honestly, just because the grip would be more out there, but we can probably make the bottom work and then get single filed out pretty quick, hopefully. Maybe we could somehow win the heat race as well, but Cade ran a really fast time, 311. He was absolutely flying on his lap. I'm really happy that we qualified pretty well, though. Hopefully we can kind of keep these spots for the feature, at least to be somewhat up front. We are car number one here. Just under 4,000 I rating, unfortunately. Hopefully we can, we can gain some in this race. So I'm wondering what the uh, strength of field is with us being under 4, 4K and being number one. But hopefully we can get it back this race if we can like finish pretty far up front. I think I'm only like 15 off of it or so, not too much off of it. I think there is two splits in this street stock race. I think there was about like 20 something people that registered. However many people were in this race total times it by two pretty much. But need to get a good start here on the outside. Gonna start out in fourth gear. So we don't have to shift down the straight. I had to mute to uh, cough real quick. It was like really bothering my throat. Pace truck's going in. All right, man. Pace car's off. Had a decent start. Third place had a pretty good jump, but I'm pretty sure he was in third gear because he fell off, it seemed like, once he was having the shift. Passing's going to be somewhat tough, I feel like, but not impossible at this track. I think later in the feature it will be real good where people can make the bottom work or the very top lane work. I'm gonna try to like have a, a wide swing into turn one, try to get some speed for the back stretch, but it might not work because the guy behind me is really sending it, sending it in there. So we gotta be careful about that. So I'll just try to run the bottom and hold him off for the main part. Cause I don't think we're gonna catch Gale, uh, K, uh, Kate up here. 
he was flying oh he messed up there in that corner he was way too sideways we caught him a whole bunch through that one i really don't want to try to pass him on the outside or anything if we can get to his inside that'd be good 20.338 i think he got too much in that slick and just got him sideways last lap He's real sideways there off the corner as well. Inside, inside. He's giving us the outside, so I want to try to Three use our bottom. momentum. Three and four might not honestly be too bad on the outside. Inside, One and two is where it's going to be real tough. Clear, clear, clear. He's not going to be able to slide up in front of us. We're going to take the lead from this. Quarter. Getting bumped from behind, <laughs> like clear. at the Super Speedway race. Job. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm honestly shocked we got the lead from that. Did not think we were going to be able to do that. Yeah, that might have been the fast lap on the track, boss man. He's looking good. He had a good run behind us. Just going to try to block his momentum running the same line as him. Because if he wants to pass, he's going to have to run the bottom. And he's not going to be able to throw a slider because we're not far enough up the track, really. It's going to be two laps to go. It's literally like super speedway racing. He's just giving me bumps through the corner. Inside, straight clear. in the back. White flag, man. He, won't good lap. Inside, he keeps clear. it low. Got one lap left here. 20. Just trying to run the line right there. I'm not high enough for that corner. But with him not trying to go inside, we should win that. And we're going to start first in the feature race. Let's go. That's awesome. I was not expecting that after uh, Cade's time. He fell back to third, which is huge. He's going to be starting well back done, in seventh. Well That's a big difference well done, from starting uh, first. And you're, and you're on I can't believe that we won that. Like, we got by him on the outside, which I really did not think was going to come into play, honestly. I thought the bottom was going to be dominant for at least the first heat race. He was just getting a little too sideways down there. Maybe being full throttle. I was letting off slightly. So we get to his outside here. Just able to pinch him down because the line's not too high. And just get that momentum from the top side. The eight car is a little bit indecisive on where he wanted to go. And then I think he realized the top's probably going to be the way to work. He just got a little too sideways down there. We clear Cade down there. Just dive down to the bottom of three and four. The eight car, I don't. I think his name was Christopher. Uh, he was very quick there on that outside lane. Where was it? Oh, Connor. I knew it was a C, but my bad. I said the wrong name. But that was a hell of a heat race. He was very quick on that outside line. So let's go watch heat number two here. I think they're getting ready to roll now. Yeah, everybody's on, on uh, pit road. Trying to figure out what... Which one I want to use. Maybe TV Tower. But they're getting ready to roll. With us starting on pole, that's huge. I'm really happy about that. I thought we were going to be stuck behind the first row for sure. But getting the pole is awesome. That means a lot for us. Hopefully we can get a good jump off the uh, start of the race. 25 lap A main feature, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully we can hold them off. There are cautions, but hopefully we don't get any. Then go by pretty quick. <clears throat> a lot of people using like own custom numbers and stuff how many people are in this whole lobby 15 okay there will be no consolation race which is great i think there was about 30 people that registered maybe 29 30 people that registered last i saw it was like 25 26 so a few more people registered right at the end when i didn't when i wasn't looking at least so pretty big fields fourth place is blinking his mind out i don't know if he's like ping is really high oh yeah ping's real high there i think it's the seven car or it, the eight was the one that was behind me in our race so seven is the one that's blinking all around which is not good you hate to see it he might get wrecked real early without somebody knowing where he's at because either they're gonna move up or he's gonna come down and somebody's gonna run him over who knows but it kind of stopped right there Green. oh there it goes again top three pull away pretty quick Second place is side by side, the 12 and the 15. We'll see who can prevail here. 
at slow speeds the bottom might work but once they start get rolling here the 15 might inch his way forward with that momentum oh he straightens out a little early there he's gonna tag the wall no he keeps it going spotify car down on the bottom getting right in the middle of that slick not running super quick there decent speed off of two but the 15 clears them there we'll see if the 15 sticks to the top 12 moves up there the leader is kind of running the top for the most part he's just trying to pull away see if watch this battle for second mainly because everybody else is pretty spread out all i see is the uh car and fourth that's blinking a whole lot so that's going to be sketchy back there oh wait no the um uh kate is going to start fifth for some reason i said i said seventh i was doing the dumb math wrong in my head it's first third fifth seventh not first third seventh or first fifth seventh maybe i forgot about third place i don't know <laughs> I'm an idiot, but he's going to be starting fifth, but still, that's a long way back from starting on pole, or at least the second row. It's a big difference uh, for where he's starting in the feature. Because he had a great qualifying lap and just started messing up a little bit there in the heat race. The leader's starting to run the bottom. Either to try to preserve that top lane for the feature, or he just wants to see what the bottom has because he has such a lead over these two not 100 percent sure 12 goes way up the racetrack they're coming to lap six right here six out of eight yeah the 12 car is trying to run way too high like he's in the the grip too much to where his car is not wanting to turn very much because the 15 like right in the sweet spot he's slowly catching the leader it looks like with him running the bottom but not quick enough to where it's gonna matter i think because they got two laps left right here Leader's still trying to work in that bottom. I think the 15 is the fastest right now on track. Besides the leader. With the leader running the bottom, I think he has slightly quicker times. But I'm not, I could be wrong about that. He didn't go all the way up to that grip that time. Like, this is the weird thing about this track. There's so much banking that the, you can still make the bottom work like the leader is right now. With how slicked off it is compared to where the grip is it's really weird but i know this track's gonna get super slicked off in the feature so hopefully we can just have a good race try to run our line that we want to they pretty much stayed in the same spots wherever they started at good run by them though keeping it clean and we're gonna go on to the feature and we're gonna have pole which is crazy very happy about that was not expecting that coming in which is really nice because usually if I start on pole for the feature, I, I got the pole and qualifying. Usually the guy that gets pole and qualifying easily wins their heat. Not easily, but usually can keep their spot pretty well for the feature. <sighs> but that that grip line is getting really wide out there, which is the weird thing. Waiting on people to join up. Hopefully we can have a good race here. 25 laps, hopefully caution free. Then we could see what we could do with a track like this. Because the track's pretty worn in on the bottom for the most part. It's starting to get a little bit of grip built up there in the in the slick, but that's gonna go away with our pace laps most likely. We're gonna do our start and all the restarts in fourth gear like we did for the uh, start of the heat. You're gonna be like you can get a jump like a quick jump in third gear but then once you have to shift you kind of fall back a little bit so fourth gear works just fine even though you just don't get that that launch hopefully we can do well here though jason was very fast in his heat but you can see how worn out it is like the top of the slick line is where our grip line was in the in our heat so the grip line has moved up significantly still pretty low here off of turn four so three and four still might not be that bad i feel like one and two it's usually worse in to be honest like it usually gets pushed up a lot more <laughs> especially off the corner obviously once he gets to pit road here on the front stretch that'll be the best time for me to try to talk to him so just every other lap or so you might give me a opportunity to get in there if it's not too crazy all right probably gonna go early on this pace truck like once it pulls in 
I'm just trying to think about where the hell I want to run. I'm not 100% sure. For the first corner, I'm just going to run bottom. I'm probably going to be stuck on the bottom. We'll see what we can work with from the start of this. Just try to find what the fast lane is, really. Pace truck is going in, and we're going. Got a little bit of a lead. They're going to be side by side behind us. Just have to not full throttle it to get too sideways through that. But I do think this grip line up here is going to be sorry, the sorry, quickest. Sorry. I think I might have went a little too high. 24, 3, 5, 4. Just trying to keep it straight. Eight cars trying to throw a slider on Jason. Connor's trying to throw a slider on Jason back there. Oh, is he going to make that work? Almost got into the back of us, but not going to quite make it work. He was really sending it in, sending it in there, though. We just got to find where the, the real grip is in the track for the fastest time. Jason's going in low, kind of sliding up a little bit. Inside. Oh, Clear. gosh. He came up a little bit on the exit. Maybe he thought he was going to be clear. I don't know. Like, I, maybe he thought that he was, I was going to pull. Sorry. All good. I think that he thought that he was going to be clear of my bumper and to get right back up behind me. But I was trying to give him room by getting out to the wall. And we got our first caution of the race. Jason fell back to fourth. That's unfortunate for him. Got to catch pace car. There is a wrecked car on the front stretch, so we got to watch out for them. I think they're moving at this point. Yeah, they are. Seven car ended up in it. Don't know if it was a single car spin or if there was a wreck involved with some multiple cars. Who knows? But we still got the lead for now. Kind of got to do a little bit of mirror driving, but we got the lead still. Every restart is going to be single file as well, which is going to be really big for us. But uh, I'll bring you guys back and get ready to take the green because there's going to be a couple caution laps here and they're going to take probably about a minute, maybe. So we have no pit stop spotter, but get ready to go green here. Hopefully we can get a pretty good jump on Connor behind us. Need to try to get a little bit of a lead here. Gordon is back in third. That's a pretty cool first name, <laughs> honestly. Jason's back to fourth. Where is Cade? He's in sixth, where he started fifth. So he's lost another spot from the start of the race. Waiting on the pace truck to go in. Went real early there. Went about as early as I could. Try to stick right to the outside of the slick here. Because the grip is way up the track right now. So try to get that grip built up a little bit lower again. Honestly, like later in this run, the slider line might come um, like really fast. If you can keep it really straight mainly through the slider, I would say. Trying to like go in just above the slick and then like kind of cut down on exit. If we can try to keep up momentum and just cut off the exit keep it straight try to get a great run down the front front and back stretch 20 but connor is catching us once again like he was in the heat race i got way too sideways there connor has been very fast on the uh slick track like once the track goes slick a little bit he's been real quick on finding the grip and being able to make speed out of it He's running slightly lower than I am. Probably just keeping the car straight, not being full, full throttle the entire time. He might honestly be. I don't know. He might try to throw a slider. Not quite. I think I'm just getting a little too sideways middle to exit, and he's just catching us through that. He's been very fast, though. I'm waiting for him to throw the slider. Cause I know he will, cause we're far enough up the track to where you can. 
I just have to be ready for it to like cross them back down. Inside. Honestly, probably gonna be right here. Still there. Clear low. Oh, not quite. Okay. I I went like really high Inside. on the entrance to try to Inside. do the crossover, but he didn't he didn't try to cross it over there. Still I'm there. shocked. 20. 9, 6, there he goes. Clear, clear, clear. And Inside. thought he was gonna slide up more or Inside. go lower for that. That didn't go very well. We got a 2x from that? Really? I'm kind of shocked we got a 2x from that, to be honest. How the hell are we 3 wide? <laughs> Justin coming up out of nowhere, flying right now. Now we have like a 4 dog fight for the lead. I literally have no clue where Justin came from. <laughs> he came flying up through the field. The bottom. Now he's fading off a little bit. And I'm gonna try this like mini slider line, like go in low, kind of come up off a little bit. <laughs> Cause there's a lot of grip in the bottom middle to start the corner. And just trying to keep the car straight through the uh, center to exit. A little too sideways there for my liking. They might get a run on me on exit. No, not quite. Oh, and we get a caution. Okay. No, I think that was kind of quicker. That this kind of line was was pretty quick. Three and four is a lot easier to run it in than in one and two. One and two is a, a little tougher. Just trying to get like a feel for it. But one and two is a lot slicker than three and four is through the center to exit. So easier to run it in three and four for sure. But still got the lead justin's got up the second which i think he started like back in seventh or something so he's made his way up through the field kate is up to fourth now he's starting to work his way back up jason's falling back to six so this is anybody's race at this point we got 10 laps to go when we go back green hopefully we can hold on to this lead and get this big victory we're on one to go all right get ready to go back green again hopefully for the last time looks like the three cars on pit road you probably getting some damages fixed not sure what the caution was for. We'll go back and see all the incidents after the race. But it uh, should be a fun finish here. People are getting very quick and running all over the place. You could throw a slider line, run the top, try to keep at the bottom. The track actually gets pretty fun when it gets this worn out. In these cars, at least. Because you could really rip the wall, be fast. The slider line has been working for me right now. Probably going to go early again on pace truck. Try to catch them slipping again. Now that I had Justin behind me, I had the eight car behind me the restart before. So he probably knew me going early last time. So I had a different guy behind me. So I went, I still did early. The grip's not really there on the entrance or anything for the uh, bottom anymore right now, but we'll build it back up pretty quick. I need to go in slightly higher for turn one so we don't throw like as much of a slider. Have a good 0.8 second lead. Three and four feels really good to me right now. Running that line. I went in real low there in one and two. That is not the way to do it. Okay, I need to go in significantly higher for that corner three and four i can actually go in pretty low because the grip kind of starts to catch us pretty well in the center i need to go in like almost where this grip stuff is right here to not go in too low still got kind of sideways i was too much on throttle i'm hoping they start battling behind me honestly come on justin hold them off for me <laughs> the eight car has been very quick though so if he can get if he gets side by side with uh justin behind us it might help us out some that restart was huge getting such a big lead because they are slowly pulling me in because it might not be until the last lap or two when they really get to me at this rate he's hugging that bottom in three and four very well He's definitely holding lower in one and two also. I'm 
try to run down there some. Seem to have worked okay for us. The eight car is getting a good run on Justin behind. He's getting to his inside. That's going to make them battle some. Hopefully that will help us out in the front. Justin had a pretty good run into three there. Got about three laps left. Really just trying to keep the car straight through all that. They're keeping the momentum a lot better than I am is the problem. I'm trying to not just spin the tires. Ooh, getting the wall. Dang it. Justin is catching us. Him and Connor, but Justin's the one not to really worry about. He's getting right to us. Caution. Oh, caution. Told you. Well, that's not what I wanted to see, but I've been really good off these starts, so. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise? I don't know. I guess the, uh, yeah, we couldn't have made it one more lap, guys. Come on. That's unfortunate because the top five were, like, gone from everybody else. So nothing was really going to change there except maybe a spot or two between them. Like, between all the top five of us, but we've been really fast on the restarts, getting really good jumps. So the only thing I could hope is that we get another good jump like that, because it took them about, I don't know, like eight eight laps, to eight, maybe five to six to really start catching us. So if we get another big jump like that, uh, it might be good for us. So I'm probably going to try to jump it real early again, right when the pace truck's about to go in, and try to get a good uh, beat on it to get a lead, because... Hopefully they'll battle behind us because single file restarts helps us out a lot there. So we're going to come back for like a one lap shootout pretty much because when we take the uh, green, we're going to be hitting the white flag. So all we got to do is hold on to it for one last lap. And I think we can get this victory. We are having a hard time hearing you. All right. We got one lap left here. I think we could hold it out as long as we get a decent jump. We don't even need as big of a jump as we had the other restarts, but... He's kind of hanging off of us right now. That's why I'm trying to get like a big jump just in case like people are trying to get a head start. But if I see people start trying to like get up to my bumper, I'll just wait on the start for the most part. But on, gonna man. go as down, soon man. as the pace car pulls in. Just barely seeing it and getting the jump a little bit. I kind of gave it away by barely tapping the gas too early there. Keep it up, baby. I got white flag. Yep, we got one lap to go. Should be able to win it here. We got a good gap there in turn one. Let's go. That restart or that caution kind of helped us in a way, but at the same time, I think we still would have won it, but let's go. Got the victory. Very happy about that. Good race by Justin going from like seventh to second. Good run by him. Very happy about that, though. So, good win by us. Very happy about that. Good job by Justin getting up the second. We're going to try to do some burnouts in these things. Oh, he was not happy with the eight car. <laughs> really, dude? The, the X's don't matter at this point, but I guess he just wasn't happy with the eight or something. I know people weren't happy with the 12 car, so we'll go back to see some of the incidents after the race here. But you can actually do a burnout in these things, which is fun. Most dirt cars you can't. You don't get any smoke, but you can at least do the burnout. All right, let's go drive backwards as well, because I like to do that on the dirt tracks a lot of the time. Because they actually drive decent on the dirt track every now and then going backwards. It's just like a very fun, different thing to do. And we got somebody else still on track. So I'm going to try to hold the high side because it doesn't turn right very well. Probably going to get in the wall just barely. We're good. Oh, the guy got off track. Dang it. If he was still going around on track, that would have been pretty cool. But you could really rip this top. <laughs> with it, with you being on the left side of the car, you could see it pretty well. But the wall hits make it harder. But very happy about that. Get that with W. Should gain back up to over 4,000 I rating from that win as well. But... Let's go back, see some of the incidents that happened through the race, because it was kind of hectic uh, there for a little bit. We got a good jump off the start. They'll probably show 
the 11 and eyes incident that happened that guy is blinking oh that's what the first caution's for also so his blinking oh did he just get in the wall or something i think he might have just gotten in the wall or he got sideways there and maybe came across the nose of the 14 hang on let me go to the 14's car because you can probably see it better oh yeah he came down across the nose of the 14 you just never saw that guy at all blinking never once saw him blinking in front of him there i think this is still under caution the 12 cars is in the wall i know a few people were mad at the 12 car he just ran the three high a little bit they were both doing like a slide job through the corner 13 got too straight on his slider then got loose on exit they net code a little bit kept it going straight the nine and the three three just kept coming up nine could have lifted a little bit but the three definitely kept coming up the track for some reason oh and then the 14 just got into the three the caution was probably out at that point so you probably could have let off of that uh, uh then actually i want to go back to where me and the 11 had our incident because when did that happen i think it happened right before the yeah it happened right before the first caution because he was getting that bottom rolling like he threw it in there just under us he got a good run off the exit i was trying to stay high for him i, I could have stayed a little bit higher i didn't go all the way out to the wall but i think he i think that he thought he was going to be clear behind me and was coming up to the wall basically to keep his momentum so no harm no foul really and all that all right let's go back to what happened up here nine in the oh is it broken now oh it's freaking broken that's unfortunate okay we have to find them manually have to find them manually that's okay because i want to see what happened we were freaking flying with like three wide here i don't know oh yeah this is when the uh eight car tried to throw a slider i thought he was going lower and gonna really clear us but he didn't go as low and as far into the corner as i expected i was going to cross him over and got into his right rear we kept going straight though 15 trying to stick his nose in there and then justin in the two car flying up through the middle here it's crazy we were so tight off of that but kept it clean which is good and then it was about lap 14 well 15 something happened back here i'm not 100 percent sure what exactly though definitely didn't happen with him but what happened oh yeah that was the three and the nine okay so we already saw that he was done with the race at that point after that we had a caution right about here the 12 car got into somebody i'm pretty sure because I, I heard somebody say something about the 12 car will will wreck you or get into you one of the two just running the top side think it might happen on this lap honestly gets the wall is he gonna dive it into a corner what's gonna happen because i know that i think it happened with the 12 car he's wall riding slightly i could hear him scraping the wall and just riding right on the bumper of the nine car and just runs him over in the corner <laughs> just absolutely destroyed him like just he had a little bit more speed he could have dove it into the inside like right there you could have just gone inside tried to throw a slider on him in the next corner instead stay right behind him and then just run him over that's one way to do it i guess <laughs> i don't understand that but justin was slowly catching us what were our lap times there towards the end uh basically all eights and then justin was running sevens so he was catching us like a tenth at a time half a tenth at a time so he was slowly reeling us in but we only had two laps left i think we would have been able to hold it off it might have gotten close towards the uh, last lap but the caution kind of uh, made it easy for us got a little bit of a gap to start with and then kind of pulled away here in one and two had a real good exit not that didn't really get sideways at all but very fun race uh happy we got the win should get back over 4,000 i rating which is really good for me i'm happy about that so let's go see what we end up getting out of the results all right results are in strength of field just over 2k there's only two splits of it but we were car number one got back over 4 4,000 i rating happy about that oh wow justin went from ninth to uh second really good run by him so i guess he finished what fifth yeah he finished fifth in the heat race i thought he finished fourth honestly so that's kind of crazy good run by him in the the feature to get up the front like that that was that's crazy the 11 car went from second back to ninth any big movers 15th the 7th 13th the 8th good job by them moving on up 
uh fourth fifth sixth third fourth fifth sixth all started in that position finished in that position that's kind of funny i started in first finished first uh didn't even have the fastest lap of the race the 11 car was the quickest right there in the beginning but i'm happy we gained back over a 4k justin hit 3k i don't know if that's for the first time if you are watching this justin and you hit 3k for the first time let me know that's awesome congrats on you but if it's if you've hit it before still congrats to being back over it so uh, that's the same thing with me with the 4k very Excuse me. Very happy about that because uh, I just lost that a couple uh, like yesterday in the UMPs, which I was disappointed with. So I'm happy to gain it back. Gained a little bit in the 305s and gained 42 here. So that's awesome. Trying to get our safety back up to max. We did have a 2x though with the uh, 8 car, which he ended up with a 4x, probably with the 2x with uh, the number two. Then maybe that's why he was mad at him or something. Not sure. But uh, very fun race. Also, the 8 car hit 2,000 I rating. So that's pretty cool. Everybody's hitting milestones in this one, it seems like. That's pretty cool. So very happy about that. Got the W there. So had a really good redemption race for the street stocks this week after how last week went. I was really looking forward to the uh, USA race last week because that's like my favorite track, but got wrecked out of it early. Come back this week, lead all the laps, and uh, win the thing. So that's awesome. Very happy about that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the race nonetheless. Appreciate you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.